We got to talk about Alice in Borderland. Bam. Based on a hit manga of the same name, but in Japanese. Of course. So, I actually really liked this show. I did, too. It was good. It was solid, man. I I thought at first it was going to be Game of Death, just normal kind of shit, which is, you know, Kaiju, Battle Royale, Squid Game is more has popularized it a lot. Just stuff like that, you know? They, everyone plays a game, you die. Okay, that's it. Moving on now. But then they added a great post, post-apocalyptic element to the Game of Death. That I haven't personally seen. You know what I mean? Right. Like, have you guys seen Battle Royale at all or no? No. No, I haven't. Battle Royale, you know, just normal. It's like school kids killing each other oh. because they want to. I mean, I don't know why you're woeing. It's like the same shit as Hunger Games. Hunger Games took that shit word for word, bar for bar. Uh, so that's Battle Royale. It's not really post-apocalyptic. Then, you know, we've seen Squid Game, which is not post-apocalyptic at all. It's set in modern times and everything normal. And so it was cool to see this take on it where it was like Walking Dead mixed with the game of death genre. Yeah, that's yeah, I, can, I see what you mean now. So like you got the political element into it. Y- yes, sort of. I mean, you did because when you got to the beach, yeah. it started getting about politics like they started politicking. Yeah. So how you... And that's, yeah. you know, why this stuff happened at the end. Granted, at the very end. Uh, I got a lot of Maze Runner vibes in that last episode. Uh, me it. too, dude. You need to? And okay, I'm glad I'm not, not happy crazy. about this. No, I literally wrote, if this turns into <laughs> fucking Maze Runner, I'm going to shoot someone. Well, at first I was kind of feeling that way because I was happy with the show, and then they started doing that, and I was like, well... Yep, me too. I was like, well, why are we, why are we doing this? And then it feels like it's going to be different, but I'm really not sure. Yeah, no, that's exactly where my brain went as well. Like a very Maze Runner slash Divergent esque, um, where the head political party is controlling everything in the first season or first movie in the other two's case, um, and then in the second movies or second season of this, they're gonna absolutely just destroy it. Well, yeah, because oh, like Hunger Games style. Hunger Games. The second Hunger Games was solid. Without the third one. The, the third, third one. Yeah, then, yeah. Because no, like, I've never, no. so for people who don't understand, like, I have never seen Maze Runner or Divergent. So, like, you guys just were talking in fucking tongues to me right there. Divergent, I don't agree with as much, but I see what you're talking about, Eli. But, so basically, it does the teen plot book movie gimmick where they end up fighting against a higher power in the latter books yep. when the first one they just introduced the concept to you well yeah yep. they did the whole oh we beat this thing we're gonna be good now like we'll, we'll be fine and then oh psych you say that i did level. not i never thought they beat the game because they very no. explicitly said the face cards have yeah. not been shown yeah, at they all they haven't no, gotten I six know, ca- or they, eight cards exactly but Wait, the, nine cards they did that kind of thing where like, and then especially it, there was a lot of parallels with the Maze Runner because in the end of the first Maze Runner book slash movie, they beat the maze and then they get through the thing, and they see like all they get to this place and everybody's dead and there's this video of everybody dying blah blah blah. Turns out it was all staged, so they get these kids out and then everybody gets up and walks away. Uh, and so that's what I was kind of upset about when i saw them walk into this place and everybody was dead that's yeah. my first reaction and i was like why are we doing this and then and then it showed that the pretty boy killed them all and i was like all right that's a little bit better he's still kind of being a shark uh and then they said that he didn't kill him so i was like well now i'm confused so i'm a little bit all over the place here at the end but i'm interested well, we kind of skipped to the end somehow, but, you know, we should probably talk about the rest of the series and why you, know, you enjoyed it. Uh, I do like this show a lot because it took risks that I don't think many other shows would have. I know what you're talking about. When they about. introduce a main cast in the first couple episodes, <laughs> yeah. and then by episode three, they three murder them. them all. Three of them are gone. All but one, yeah. They literally, each of those characters had a backstory, had a plot, and had a character of revolving around themselves. Yep. Like, they were all developed characters, and they were, like, fucking dead. And I was just like, okay, we, we're we doing that, I guess. Yeah. That, that impressed the shit out of me. Oh, yeah, I certainly Same, was not upset about that, in a sense. I 
I was just like, oh, cool. Like, there's no way that they're dead. Like, the, the person that's going to die in that game is going to be the wolf, and he's going to give it to the chick somehow, and him and his homies are going to survive, and it's going to be, you know, all good. And then his homie's head popped, and I went, oh, that's not what's going to happen. I was still, uh, his head popped, and I was still rationalizing. Like, I was yeah, like, I was like, like, okay, so just one of the survivors, you know, explodes, the other right. ones get out, yeah. and then they showed the other two. I was just, I was shocked, man. Well, see, because they, they did that one, and, like, they had figured out how to beat the, the system for the other ones. So I thought that they were setting that up with this one, where they were going to figure out the system, and they were going to somehow, like, hack it out or find a way for all of them to get out because they hadn't like they'd only sort of explained how the hearts games worked and then yeah all the heads popped and i went oh all right it's game on i guess and by game on we mean game get fucked a reason you are by yourself now get good thankfully he gets saved by don't know her name but he gets saved by the girl who was with them in the hide and seek game? Or not, yes. hide, not hide and seek. Uh, tag. Tag, yeah. I'm yeah, terrible they're... with names in this show, so. Yeah, there's a lot of them I don't know. There's too many names because there's a lot of characters. I was just starting to get to know them bang cast and they killed them all. Oh, before we move on from the initial cast, uh, that chick tried to make a play, right? And her play was to be super conniving. And while they were all separated, she was going to get the one. That was by a lump, by himself and injured, and she was gonna have sex with him and try to start swinging him over to her side. True, mm-hmm. bro, that shit did not work. Not she at got all. fucked over, and that yeah. was a dub, bro. She tried to do whatever she could to get an advantage. It ain't work, B. And also, I'm mad at him because you don't cry in front of these hoes, and he started crying in front of the hoes. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> but you know, he got the walls out of it. So you know, shout out to him if these walls can talk. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, that was true. basically the prologue, though. Like, the first three episodes were the prologue. Yeah, that was For sure. intriguing. And then after that, you get them teaming up, and then you get the real show, and then you get the beach. Mm-hmm. Which, the, trans- the the going into the beach thing was interesting. Because I'm not actually sure why they started stalking the people who were coming in and out of the beach. Do you guys have a remember to what they said To find the that? beach. Yeah, they were trying to find the beach. Who told them about it? Uh, it was on the walkie-talkie of the tag game of the dude who died. Yeah. Or like okay. the uh, the tagger or whatever. Okay, okay. Because a Goonie was at that shit. Yes. At the tag game. Yes, a couple of them were. And he came off like a real boss motherfucker. Right? The whole he, time. Was, he was, he was uh, the one who had the gun. Nuts. And then he let his well, homie He was die. the one trying... Yeah, he was the one trying to get you know fight off the dudes with a gun mm-hmm. by having a gun. Yeah, and he and he yeah. sacrificed his homie. Yes, they also are just trolls. The game makers are some fucking trolls, dude. The <laughs> bus game was amazing. I like how it said that go cool. on it. Yeah, the, the yeah. motherfuckers did not pay attention, and the dis the it made sense to me. I was like, wow, that actually, it makes a lot of sense because mm-hmm. I was thinking that. I knew there was something up when they crossed the 10K mark, for me at least. Yeah. Because I was like, if if they're going to be a finish to this and you have to run a certain distance, it will be 10,000 10, yeah. kilometers. Well, after they yeah, hit 10, I was like, oh, maybe meters. it's 15. No, it, it wouldn't be. It would be like a 10K. Like, that's like a common yeah. race that you well, run. Yeah, I Makes know. Sense. I was just, I was like, well, maybe it's a 15. And then it wasn't. And I said, oh, yeah, boy. Well, there's no good rationalization for saying it's 15. You just thought that. Like, at least with 10K, it's like, oh, that's a common race that's ran, like a marathon-style race. Is a 10K. Yeah. See, I for sure knew someone was up when they went to the door. I was like, uh-oh. Like, this is not the way out. I can tell you that much. But then he had the play all along by bringing the diesel motorcycle back to the bus. Yep. It was interesting. Too bad about the motorcycle. I didn't get to use that shit. That shit was cool. That would have been really cool. I thought he was going to drive back on it and go pick the dude up, but, you know. Did not happen like that. So, shout out to the tiger. But, oh, a Goonie fucking Oko to tiger with a punch. Um, <laughs> That's when the manga showed. Like, the show was pretty grounded. And then he fucking punched the tiger out. And I was like, all right. That's where the manga slash anime influence comes in right now. <laughs> so funny, dude. I was like, there ain't no way. And then, I... after that, we get into the final sequence, which was fucking amazing, in my opinion. I love the whole beach arc. You guys might feel different, but that I loved it. 
I liked it. It was, it, a, it, I, was I, it was all right. I thought it was good until Hatter died, and then it kind of, uh, I don't know, after you that. You didn't like the witch hunt, Eli? No, I did like the witch hunt. Mm, I'll, I'll talk about it. I, I don't know um, how but I, I didn't like. That. I didn't like the collapse of the system, I guess, right. um, just because it just felt kind of dragged out for me. So I, I sit here and wonder... Um, I sit here and wonder if that was their kind of way to try and bash on uh, communism or stuff like that, because that was basically what they were pretending to have at the beach, even though it obviously wasn't. Uh, That's kind of what Hatter preached to them, except all the higher ups knew that wasn't at all what was going on. Uh, And so then it started getting into all that stuff. And I was like, all right, well, whatever. If they were going for that kind of commentary, they didn't do a really great job. Because from the second that the Hatter started talking about his concept, I was like, mm, I know what the fuck's going on here. You are bullshitting super, super hard. Like, yeah. So, like, it's, I don't really see that as a commentary. I see that more as, like, the, the mon- more of a commentary on the monarchy system, whereas a king who pretends to give his followers a choice. For sure. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I mean, you could just see Hatter was just trying to get the fuck out of there, dude. Like, he didn't. Yeah, he didn't care about anybody else. Like he he pledged like, "Oh yeah, we're all going to escape," but he was in charge. He was the one that was going to escape. So of course you can say that. Yeah, I mean, I do that from yeah. the second he explained it. Yeah, yeah, we're going to search in cars and send one person. I'm like, "No, motherfucker. You're going to try to get out and then whatever else happens, you know, fuck him." Like Yeah, exactly. You get out, you're like, "Fuck yeah, I'm I'm gone." So, I I I really like the winch hut though. Like I don't I love murder mysteries though. And it really reminded me of some, like, Danganronpa shit with them See, just trying to all figure out what really went down. And I had my own thoughts about what went down. I was like, it was probably a Goonie just because of the fact of, that he did kill Hatter just because it was a little too convenient. But I like that their twist in the reasoning for why it happened. I enjoyed the witch hunt because my first prediction was correct. Um I I eventually thought it was Aguni who that that's how they pronounce it in the the sub if you you know watch the sub reek. Um, huh? <laughs> I watched the sub. What? Or the the no? You watched the dub, didn't you? No, I watched the sub. No, <laughs> fuck you. Bro. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you didn't get to hear it episodes two when they said, "Oh, for a game, there must be a game master." <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was dope. <laughs> but no, so I saw this chick that was dead with a knife in her. And they said, somebody killed her, go find her. I was like, oh, it makes so much sense if she just stabbed that knife right in her heart. Because then they just wouldn't find the person. It's a ten of hearts game. Like, they're just going to collapse and try to kill each other. Okay. Instead of... I was halfway what? there with you, but continue. Um, Instead of predicting the person that's dead on the ground is actually the killer. I was like, it just makes too much sense. And then when Algony was like, fucking, oh, I did it, I was like, oh, shit, you're convincing me right now. I'm like, I think you did it. And then they're like, nah, fucking she did. I'm like, oh, okay, I was right. So I didn't predict that she did it, but I did think that they were messing with him and there wasn't an actual witch. So I was like half right because technically there Trace wasn't it. one. But that's easy to predict because they say that's the point say, of the that's heart the whole games. game. That's a whole game. Look, they literally I mean, say the heart games are to fuck with you. I they know that, that, but come on. I think they're fucking with me. <laughs> you know, man, I think they're fucking with them. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's, it's good, though. It's good. She, she was one of the two that were game masters, correct? Game, what uh, do they call it? Dealers. They were dealers. Dealers, yes. So, cause yeah, her the and her one friend. who killed themselves was a dealer, and then the other girl was a dealer who revealed herself, they right? Confessed that she was uh, a dealer. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So that that's probably why she ended up doing it. I really like that concept though, when they started being like that. There's dealers that are handing these out, and that they were they were them, mm-hmm. right? Like they were inside men onto the shit to fuck with them, right? And I was like, whoa, that's really that's crazy to me. I was like, damn, I didn't even think about that. And I really liked that reveal. There was a lot of things I liked about that whole arc, I guess. It was just, it was very appealing to me and entertaining with everything that was going down. And I like Arizu and how he's super fucking smart. Like, he's not, it's interesting because in the real world, he was considered worthless. But in this world, he's one of the top dogs just off this ability that he has 
given himself over time. For sure. And, and that's a I, really good, I, like, mirror... It's literally showing, like, the mirror of the world kind of thing. And I really like that, like, uh, motif. It's easy to, like, root for a smart character, too. Like, I mean, like, I because I really liked him, and then I really liked his counterpart, Anne, as well, because she was figuring shit out, too. And, like, she was the smartest one there by far. Oh, yeah. So it was, it was cool to see, like, people just figure shit out, I guess. Because, like, me, myself, I was trying to figure shit out, too. Like the games um, and stuff? At the, yeah, I'm trying to... I mean, that's the that's point, right. is you're trying to figure it out as you're watching. Have you, know? you guys ever seen that light bulb problem before? Uh, No, but I misunderstood, I guess, the the main concept of it. Gotcha. Because um, I thought it was like a, hey, once you flip the, the light on with the door open, like you're done. You don't get to see it again. Mm-hmm. Or you don't get to guess. Like, if you guess wrong the first time, you're out. So I was like, how are they going to do this, like, for with 100% certainty? And so they looked at it, and then they shut it, and they were still alive. I was like, oh, shit, I just misunderstood. Like, because, I, I don't know. I definitely understand the concept. Like, as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, that's not hard anymore. Yeah, I, I had seen this problem before. So, like, when they when they said they were doing that, I was like, oh, okay, I, I know the answer to this one or the process to it, whatever. But yeah, I mean, I enjoyed I enjoyed watching the games and seeing how some of these things worked. I did not enjoy the witch hunt specifically because I just didn't like the way it played out with the militants just going, yeah, we're going to kill everyone except for us because we're the ones with guns. I mean, that's I mean, it's very exactly realistic. what it, would yeah, happen. I know. Yeah, I it, know. And it just it, it irked me a bit. The fact that it's what so accurate. Them to it hits, pretend that everyone would get together no, and try to solve a mystery? It, it hits too close to home. <laughs> it does. It was, it was too accurate. That's exactly what would fucking happen. People would be like, well, fuck it. It's not me. It's not my boy. So we're going to start murdering everyone. Yep, exactly. <laughs> it's like, you dumb fucks. You wait two seconds. You can figure out who it actually is. For you real. Know? And that's why they had to high, high key nerf Arizu and chain him up. Because if he was out, he would have figured it out too fast. True. <laughs> they were like, lock him up, boys. Can we also talk about, you know, we gotta, I, what was the real point of the assault scene oh, with, no, oh, can we not, no. can we not talk about it? Yeah, I was gonna say, right, I just sit like your ass down, not. turn your headphones off. Dog, that was, <laughs> that muff, was rough, muff. bro. What was the real point of that? Because we already got inf- inference like 30 times that the reason they were gonna take her was to probably assault her. <laughs> like, it's yeah, those, those are was. kind words. Kind words, assault. Yeah, I just don't want to use the big no. one. Nope. It was very obvious what a Goonie and his boys were gonna do because they're fucking dirty rat bastards. Mind you, I don't think we needed to see it, and the only reason that she could even argue that it needed to be shown was for the fact of that the game popped mid-scenario. That's that literally the and, only possible reason. And so you can hate Sniper Lick Boy a little bit more. Yeah. That dude sucked. The sword dude is shooting to the top of my list for worst character. <laughs> Are you talking about the dude his... attached? Yes, and the yeah, sword. Yeah, talking about. That dude is shooting to the top of a... my list. He was awful. <laughs> I, I could not stand what? him on my screen, bro. He aggravated me so much. Every Damn time I looked at him. It's not even because of his tattoos or anything. It's, it's just the way he huh? acted, bro. Just pissed me off. And every time I saw him, I wanted to kick him in the throat. That's, That's kind of crazy. Racist. No, <laughs> no. The other people weren't like that. Like it, it didn't. He specifically bothered me so much just watching him. Tristan hates bald people. <laughs> True. Ang, get out of here. <laughs> what really, you know, what really shocked me. Speaking of the sword dude and his fight with the dreadhead girl, was her background and her backstory and everything and then showing that she's actually like transgender that was yeah the most that was shocking wild. one but that was a good backstory i was very entertained i was like wow so that explains why she can fight because she has a fighting background mm-hmm. it explains why she's kind of at home in the beach at least like she likes how it works because it's more like a community than what she was previously a part of and i also enjoyed just like <laughs> it's a, i thought so I call the blonde person. I don't. I think it's a guy, right? It's a He's blonde. A guy. Dude. He's a guy. It's a dude. It's okay. a dude. Yeah. I called him near <laughs> the yeah, whole time because he looks. From, he reminds me of near, and he gives a Death very yeah. near demeanor from Death. I just call him pretty yeah. boy. I call him near because he just seems like smart and he's super. Me- he's melancholy. very smart, bro. 
So I was like, near. I was, if anything, I was like, okay, near will be transgender revealed. Like, to me, that just made sense because very pretty, has very feminine features, everything like that, but has the voice of a dude. And then, nope, it's the other one. I was like, wow, I didn't see that shit coming at all, bro. Like, I was like, I had I had thought someone would be, but I didn't think it would be her. And I was like, what? That's cool. And then she whipped, <laughs> she whipped Aang's ass, bro. Bro, she did. Yeah. That was a good fight scene, too. It came out of nowhere. Like, honestly, like, that scene, not to, like, discredit that scene, it could be cut out from the show. And it really wouldn't affect anything plot wise. It was a pretty cool moment, though. Oh, I, I yeah, loved no, I that agree. moment. That was sweet. Yeah, she knocked his head into the glass. I do have one thing I need to ask you guys about. I don't know if you caught it. I don't know if you paid attention to it. But they were doing the flashback with Hatter and Agony, um, like outside of the game, like in the reality or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and they were talking about stuff and they were like on the roof and they were talking about the games going on and like how they were going to get into and Hatter had like these plans for when he got into the game or they already were in it and were completely aware of what was going on so that part really threw me off Brother, the entire Aguni Hatter shit threw me off entirely. I don't know what happened from, at that point. I, I, I didn't really pay attention, if I'm going to be honest, but from what you're saying, I'm inferring that they were already in the game and they were talking about how they were going to create the beach before the beach happened. See, that's what it seemed like, but this was because they mentioned that well, Hatter was a Hatter. Uh, and so this was, it seemed like it was a flashback to in the, the real world or whatever, because at first they showed them inside his hat shop. Which was think, in the real world. Yeah. I think it jumped around in time in that. The I scene. think so too. Because it started the first scene that I remember was absolutely in regular times. Yes, and then I think they got into the game times and they were together and they were like, "Let's do this." And then the third one was obviously what happened between them, right? What led to Hatter's death. So I think yeah. it was three different scenes that we were seeing. It was, and That's I just I, I was trying yeah. to figure out how all that worked. Yeah, so I think the first one was pre games. Second one was, they just got in there. Third one, you know, end of it. And that was Thanks. that was a very good twist in that last one. I'm not even sure why a Goonie killed Hatter, to be honest with you. I really, something about that last couple flashbacks really just fucked with me, and I just couldn't pay attention. So, I From what it, I got from it was, like, he lost his friend, and, like, he was, he had a lot of vengeance, like, built up for somebody that killed his friend when it really was his friend um so i i don't know take that however you might but he was just doing things that was unlike patter from the real world and agony saw that and was like this isn't my friend anymore this is a completely different person like and they got into the fight and then you and know, he yeah cap him. exactly well, so that's it, how it i took him or so he thought. Well, and then he found out that there was no bullets, but... So I don't know what the purpose of that was. Yeah, why would you threaten somebody with a gun with no bullets, bro? Like, there's asking people Asking for are, death. That's, like, a common, like, psycho thing that people do. It's, like, it just, like, gotta prove a point kind of thing and see how it would go down. I, it reminds me of the... Not to get too into it. It reminds me of The Walking Dead Season 2, Eli. Uh, the finale between Jane and Kenny. Just off oh, of, like, yeah, how... Fair. She set that scenario up for them to to, for, to prove a point, basically. And fucking, it's a dumb point to prove, because what happens, but it was, that was the point of the scenario. And I feel like Fair. it was kind of the same thing between the Goonie and Hatter. Yeah, Hatter was, was going mad, for sure. So he's like, I gotta prove that this motherfucker is not gonna, you know, whatever, whatever. Uh, classic psychopaths. Hi, guys. So then we get the reveal, you know, that this is all set up by some higher power. People are gambling on it. And then there's, like, another higher power, which is the woman in the TV screen, who they vow to kill. And then at the end, we see the blimps with the face cards. Are, I yes. got dual, <laughs> dual kingdom vibes from that. <laughs> 100%. Heavy. I was sitting here, I'm like, are the games going to be like, on the blimps? Oh. That's what, that's, I, what I thought. It's that's gotta, what I thought. It's got to be. It's got to be. But are the blimps going like, to come down? Into, I don't know, man. <laughs> Merrick's gonna be on top of one of them. <laughs> Someone like, getting sent to the gonna shadow come realm, bro. Each everyone should just be a different Yu-Gi-Oh character. Like boom, Yami, boom, Merrick, boom, Kaiba, boom, Joey with his kunai cane. 
Like, it's just, I was like, fuck yeah, dude, this is great. This is the closest I'm ever going to get to a live action Duel King. Bro, if I don't see Jinzo on one of these blimps for the game, I'm going to be sad. Oh my god, I'm sorry, you don't know what the fuck we're talking about, Eli, but... I uh, just, yeah, I just, I'm waiting. I need my it's Valentine as well. Basically, there's a whole arc in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? There's two separate, there's Duel Island and Duel Kingdom. Duel Island's a baby version of Duel, actually it might be called Duel City. Uh, it's Duel City. Duelist Kingdom uh, is the first one on the island. Yeah, Duel, okay, Duel, it's called Duel City, my bad, I fucked that up. Duel City is basically this big-ass city they create to make a Battle Royale-like style a card game fight with between the Yu-Gi-Oh characters and the last couple fights end up on a fucking top of a blimp. And that's Got why when you. the blimp showed up, we were like, I was like, holy shit, it's dual city. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. And basically like they did the same thing that they did in this, which is they cleared out the entire fucking city and just made it only for the duelists. So that's why I was like, Oh, this gives me heavy dual city vibes. Can't I wait. Mean, e- either way. I think it'll be on the blimps. Yes. I also, I just want to say this now. There was, like, I actually think they're going to split up for the games. I don't think they need to actually compete against each other anymore. I don't think so. I, they've got to split up, right? Yeah, I think that's what I think. that Each of them is going to start taking over different blimps. Because I'm assuming it's going to be, like, video game style, where they're going into the blimps, and the entire blimp is the level. Like, they have to clear it like that. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's too many video game references for a Rizu's character for it not to end up like a video game now. Oh, yeah. So, my thought is that, like, each one of them is going to pretty much take a different suit. Well, there's only three. There's four of them. Four. Because... there's five of them, aren't there? Ah, there might be five. So, you right. Five characters, but there's only... Because Anne was with them, right? Yeah. So, it's Anne, the Dreadhead, Nier... Nier... And then Arisu Arisu and and other... girl. (laughs) Yeah. Main girl. Whose name we don't know. I don't know how the fuck we don't know her name. Like, I think it's a CH. It? I think it starts with a CH. I really don't remember why. I don't think they just didn't say it. They at did. All. Like, they did a couple times. Whatever you say, my man. I swear. Oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. Hold on. I just. Oh my god. Oh, oh that's right. So, <laughs> it's Usagi. I know. I. I did no. I don't know her name. That's not why I'm freaking out. It is Usagi, but it's called Alice in Borderland. Because Arizu could be the translation for Alice into English. Because you know how Japanese people are with R's and L's. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alice, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Alice, yeah. Arizu. Yeah. Yeah, that makes so sense. Ali- oh, my God. <laughs> fuck. I just... Dude. The Hatter was obvious, but well, yeah. fuck. I don't know why I didn't pick yeah. up on this or one the, earlier. Or the playing cards. <laughs> okay, that's fine. But I'm like... Why? But my brain was like, why are they calling this Alice in Borderland? Right? Sure, the Hatter, like the Hatter and stuff, was a little hand fisted, but the fucking him being Arizu and Alice, like that for me was like, okay, that's why I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, is it Ku Ku Kuina? Is her name? No. Usagi. Kuina is the dread. Usagi. 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 Yeah. You, oh, Yuzuha. I did write that down. I did write down her name's Yuzuha. Yeah, yeah they didn't okay. call her that. You can obviously tell that we're professionals at this. Uh, I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm excited for season two, to say the least. I'm curious where they'll go with this. I want to see Dual City live action. Uh, I understand your guys' cause for concerns. I did not relate it to the Mocking J <laughs> equivalent. However, now that you've said that, you scare me a little bit. I'm I'm worried. I I hated I Mocking J. It was bad. But I really don't think I don't know. They do have to figure it out, but I don't think they're gonna be able to stop the government if it's the government. It, <laughs> or whoever's running it. You know what I mean? Right. We'll, we'll see. Well, Cause here's the other thing. There's the theory, and I realize we've talked about this and you said you are not excited by this idea. But they mentioned near the beginning of this show something about virtual reality and how it's possible like it seems possible that this could all just be virtual reality so if you get whole no. code in this you're just back Please in the no. real world or it'll be more Please. like i don't know sao or some of those other things where if you yeah, oco in the game yeah. this you is... oco in real life uh, sao live action bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hate it was all a dream. It was a game. I think if anything, they're gonna reveal the real world was a fucking game. How about that? How about go fuck yourself? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a dream. <laughs> And you're going to like make, it. Wouldn't, wouldn't it make more sense that the real world's a game and that they're getting awoken into the actual world, which is the borderland? Homie, the real world is a game. And we're all playing it, bro. All right, dude. We're going to wrap this up. <laughs> I didn't play it. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, man. It's been too long. We covered too much shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's all right, man. Brains are right, melting. Get, I got a number. I got a fucking eight. I have to go seven and a half, personally. I also have an eight. Solid ass show. It's one of the best shows we've watched in a while. It is. I uh, agree. Full, full fledged. 